Reloading the line in an AutoCut C6-2 head is quick and easy to do. First, make sure you have removed the battery or disconnected the power source so there's no risk of the machine accidentally starting while you're working on it. The last pieces of line may have ejected themselves from the mowing head, but if they haven't, you will need to remove the old pieces of line before you can load it with new line. To do this, make sure the arrows here and here are lined up with the two arrows on the black plastic outer ring. If they aren't, just push down this ring and rotate it around like this. Once they are aligned, you should be able to pull out the old line. If that doesn't work and they can't be pulled out, you'll need to remove the head from the machine. To do this, grip the body of the mowing head here to hold it in place, then undo this center nut. You should be able to do it by hand, but you can also use a wide bladed screwdriver to loosen it. Once it's undone, the head will just come off like this. You can then take out the center section and remove the old line. Once you have removed the line, you need to reassemble the head ready to load with new line. To reassemble, just put the top of the line head back in Press down and screw the centre nut back on tightly. Check that the white ring can be moved freely and then realign the inner and outer arrows like this. This is now an empty mowing head ready to be reloaded. The AutoCut C6-2 head takes up to four meters of our green two mil mowing line. Take one end of the line and push it into the eyelet here. Keep pushing until it comes out the other side of the head. Pull it halfway through so that you have half the mowing line on each side of the head. Next, grip the head and turn the white ring so that it winds up the mowing line into the head. You need to leave around 10 to 12 centimeters of line each side, so if you have more than that, you can just trim the ends here. You can also find more how-to videos on the Steel GB YouTube channel.